Hello, my name is Tom Geckler and I'm the partner in charge of dealership services for Hyde Bailey. Many of our dealership clients have participated in the PPP loan program and we're getting a lot of questions surrounding these loan and forgiveness. Uh, one of the first questions we get is when should you apply for forgiveness? As many of you are aware, the SBA uh, opened up the forgiveness portal in August of 2020, but many banks and taxpayers seemed to take their time to, before they started to make application because they were hopeful for some future guidance or simplicity. However, it's our position that if your test period, whether it be the eight week or 24, 24 week period is up, uh, your documentation is in order, and your bank is willing to accept your application, we see no reason not to apply now. Remember, you have 10 months from the end of your test period to make application. A second common question is surrounding whether or not you can use the Form 3508EZ form for application for forgiveness. And basically, if you look at the instructions on that form, there's a series of questions. And if you can answer affirmatively to one of those questions, you can use the form. But basically, if you didn't have a reduction in staff or reduced salaries for someone making less than $100,000 by 25%, then you can use the form. Lastly, a lot of questions about taxation regarding the forgiveness, the ramifications there. Uh, as, as everyone probably thought, at the beginning of the loan program, the, the act itself stated that the loan was not included in gross income. We all interpreted that to mean tax exempt or tax free. However, the IRS issued a notice this last summer stating that any expenses funded by this loan, or the forgiven part of the loan, would not be deductible. So that raised a final question of, okay, the expenses aren't deductible, when are they not deductible? Is that in the year they're paid or the year the loan was forgiven? Yesterday, on November 18th, the IRS issued Revenue Ruling 2020-27 stating that the expenses are non-deductible in the year they're paid if, at the end of that year, the taxpayer had a reasonable expectation of forgiveness. So it doesn't matter when you apply for forgiveness, if your loan's in 2020 and you apply in 2021, the expenses are non-deductible in 2020 if, at the end of 2020, you thought you had a reasonable expectation of forgiveness. So keep that in mind with tax planning. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please reach out to us here at I Bailey. We'd love to help you.